Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Harmony interface. So if it's your first time using uh, Toon Boom Harmony Premium, uh, you can go ahead and open up a Harmony file. Now you'll get a little window that's going to open up like so. And what you want to do is you want to figure out where you want to save this on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and cl click Browse. And I'm going to put mine under Downloads, um, but I recommend you put yours anywhere in um, either um, doc under Documents is a good spot, or if you have a removable hard drive, you should save it onto your removable hard drive. But I'm going to go ahead and click Downloads because I'm going to be deleting mine. So whatever I'm, I usually uh, work with, I put it in the downloads and I go ahead and delete it later. So I'm going to click downloads. I'm going to go ahead and select folder. And you can see here it's going to save it under my downloads folder. And I'm not going to be saving this file. So I like to put a note for myself to delete me, which means that when I come across this file, I know that it's nothing to save. So I'm going to be uh, just deleting it. So you can call it whatever you like. Once you are ready, you're not going to touch any of these. You can leave them as is. And we're going to go ahead and click Create Scene. Now, Once you click on that, you'll have to give Harmony a couple, couple of seconds. And it will open up a, a, an empty file here. Now, the first thing you'll do when you open up Harmony is, well, you have to understand that there are lots of windows and tabs that are hidden. And... Um, some windows and tabs you will need and others you will not depending on what you want to do um, but i'm going to go ahead and close some of these tabs here and we're going to start from scratch so i'm going to close these two and i'm going to close these like so uh, and i'm going to close that now <clears> the <throat> first thing you need is um, a camera view I think that's the very first thing you'll need. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little plus sign here. And I'm going to go and choose camera. Now, everything is in alphabetical order. So the camera view is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that there's a little camera tab that opens up there. If you have another tab that you don't need, you can click on that tab and close it like so. Now, what I like to have is I like to have my camera, uh, my camera here. And whatever is in this box is what you're going to see on TV or in your movie. So the camera tab, I like it right there. I also like to have a drawing tab open. So I'm going to go ahead and choose drawing. And another tab that I like to have is the perspective tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click plus again and choose perspective. Now, at any given time, you can close them just by clicking the X here. Or you can jump from one tab to the other. Uh, next up is, in this corner here, what I like to have is my drawing substitutions. Uh, if you don't have that, you can uh, go ahead and click the plus and choose drawing substitutions. Right here. Uh, another thing I like to have in this area is uh, my... Um, my colors. So I'm going to go ahead and click on colors. Now I have all of my color pots here. Another thing that I like to have is um, my layer properties. So here I have my layer properties, my color, and I like to have uh, my library. I like to have my node view and I like to have my oh my tool properties so there's layer properties and there's tool properties so I'm gonna go ahead and close my layer properties here like so and the last window that I like to have open is the top view here. Now, obviously, you know, if it's your first time using uh, Harmony, 
uh, this might be a lot to take in. I'm not going to be explaining all of those uh, windows just yet, but for now we're just looking at the general interface. Um, like that. Okay, so uh, next up is the timeline. So the timeline should be anywhere in your screen if you don't have a timeline or you find that the timeline is kind of maybe stuck up here. Um, you can move these little curtains just by hovering over top of them and clicking and dragging. So if you want more or less room, you can do that. Now I like my timeline down at the bottom of the screen here. So at any given time, you can click, hold and drag the um, whatever window you want just by holding down the uh, the tab and if you let it go anywhere on the screen it will become a floating window that you can um, readjust the size like this or you can put it on another screen if you have another screen but I like to have my timeline down at the bottom of the screen um, and I like to have my timeline go from the very left all the way to the right. Now, when you click, drag, and hold, um, you're going to notice that wherever you put this box, uh, it will create this um, this blue highlighted area that tells you, is this where you want to have your timeline? Or is this where you want to have this window? And you can see that it's not exactly what I I'm hoping for so I'm going to go down a little bit lower here until I get this box here we go now it goes from the complete left to the complete right when I let go the timeline will appear right here at the bottom and here it is I have my timeline it's nice and long um, and yeah now the next thing we're going to talk about is hidden tools uh, I forgot the other thing that I like to have open under here is uh, my node library. So here we have the timeline and the node library. Now, one thing that a lot of people do, and that you know they they might not be aware, but they might have. You can have multiple um, tabs of the same thing. So if you look here, it says node view. And we can see this is the exact same thing as this. And it says node view here. I could also have a node view over here. And this is not good practice. Um, Harmony does not like it when you have the same tabs open multiple times. So just make a quick pass and just make sure that you don't have the same thing opened more than once. So over here I have these three. And then over here I have other tabs that are not repeating themselves anywhere. Um, yes. Now, other things that you will need um, is the playback. So, you know, you might have your timeline might look like this. You might not have any tools here. So, um, at any given time, anywhere in Harmony, you can right click in these gray areas and you'll see that you'll have a list of other tools. The ones that have check marks are the ones that are already showing up. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go down here, right click and choose Timeline View. Uh, and it's going to give me this set of tools here. And I'm going to right click again and choose Playback. These are the two that I like to have uh, in, my, uh, in my timeline. Now, what if you want to rearrange them? Uh, you totally can do that. You'll see these little uh, curtains here. You can leave your mouse hovering over top of them. If I push this over here, you'll see that it kind of eats up all of the tools that are there. But if you look, at it, it's got these two little arrows here. If I click on those little arrows, it shows me the hidden tools. Um, and I don't like to have them up on top of each other because now I have less room down here. So, and I have lots of room over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that and put that over here. 
and drop it here. And now you can see all of my tools are showing up. Um, another thing that you will notice is your tools. So these tools here by default are going to be over here on the left hand side of the screen. Now if you're left handed that's great but if you are right handed and you want to have the tools over here somewhere if I click hold and drag this and I want to put the tools right here it won't let me drop drop them there. You'll see as soon as I let go the tools are going to go flying back to the left side of the screen and that's because these tools are not inside this camera view. So if you look here, you'll see this thin red line that is highlighting the area where my mouse is. Now, as soon as I bring my mouse over on this side, you'll notice that the red line is highlighting this area here. And if I go into my timeline, you'll notice that the red line is highlighting my timeline. This is called focus on mouse enter. So if you look here, I can zoom in and out by pressing one and two. But if I put my mouse over on this window, if I press 1 and 2, it will zoom in and zoom out here. And if I put my mouse in the timeline and press 1 and 2, it will zoom in and zoom out on my frames. This is called Focus on Mouse Enter. If you don't have this, you're going to need it. We're going to go to Edit, Preferences. And under General, the very first tab, it's right over here. It's called Focus on Mouse Enter. You want to make sure that that is checked and click OK. Now mine's already there, so I'm just going to cancel. And now I want to get these tools over here in my camera view on the right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this gray area here, right click, and we can see that the tools have a check mark there. When I click on that, the check mark will disappear and the tools will disappear. And I would like to have my tools in with the camera view, inside the camera view. So I'm going to right click in this gray area and choose tools right here at the bottom. And my tools appear over here at the top. I don't like them up there. I'm going to go ahead and click, drag and hold and I'm going to drop them right over here. Perfect for a right handed person. Uh, other tools that you will need, your art layers. So I'm going to go ahead and right click in this area here and choose art layer. Now you should have an eyeball here with an overlay, line art, color art, and underlay art. If you only have the line art and color art, you're going to need the other two. So we're going to go to edit preferences again. And we're going to go under the advanced tab this time. And we're going to check that very first one here. Support overlay and underlay arts. That's these two things right here. So make sure it's checked and click OK. Mine are already there, so I'm going to click cancel. And uh, I'm going to right click in here again. Just make sure I have all the tools that I like. Another one that you might want is the camera view other tools here that might be useful to you later on. And up over here, we're going to right click and we're going to choose um, advanced animation, which are these tools here. Now they might be somewhere else. They might be, you know, over here. Uh, you can move them wherever you like. Uh, other tools that you will need, deformation, display and scripting. Those are the tools that I like. They are all up here. And finally under node view here, there won't be any tools under node view. So if you right click in this gray area and choose node view, you will get more tools here that will be useful to you later on. Now, once you're happy with your setup, you can go ahead and save that display by going to Windows, 
workspace and save workspace as and then you can put your name there and click OK. Now once you've done that you can go to Windows, Workspace, Workspace again and you'll see that there are different types of, of displays and I've saved mine under I have one under Gabe's workspace and one that's called my workspace um, but we can go ahead and choose a different one so I'm going to click on animation and wait a little bit Harmony will rearrange itself like so and we can go ahead and try a different one now you might see this little drop down menu here this little drop down menu is uh, the same thing as what you have here under workspace it's just a little uh, a little quicker so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different one for compositing here wait a little bit and we will see that Harmony will rearrange itself in a different in a different setup here uh, like so now I don't like this setup obviously because I'm not a compositing uh, artist or scripting so I'm just gonna go back to my workspace here wait a little bit and there we go. So you could have multiple work, uh, workspaces depending on what you'd like to do. Uh, but I guess that's it for this lesson. Uh, join me in the next one where I'm going to explain each one of these tools here. See you in the next video.